hardest language? Um, Finnish. At the beginning, you say Russia wasn't too easy because there are so many exceptions. The first very hard language that I learned was Turkish. For me personally, I found Georgian quite challenging. Japanese, without a doubt. For me, Hungarian for pronunciation is quite hard. All those languages, definitely for me, Russian. I'm sure that there might be something more difficult. For everyone, it's slightly different. For me, it was Mandarin Chinese. Hardest language? Uh, Polish. Hint is quite challenging, but quite about real fun. I thought that uh, it was the hardest language really for me, but uh, after I started learning Chinese, I understood that Turkish was not so bad. <laughs> and why? The cases, perfective, imperfective verbs, um, words are long. You need to learn another alphabet as well, but I don't think that Cyrillic alphabet is that difficult. Because it has like a, it's a Slavic languages with a lot of grammar complications. And it's even like crazier than Russian. Like for me, it's like Russian with lasers. It's like really, really crazy. Because you have to change in the same word, in the same word, and it really means something different. For example, and not only these two vowels, there are thirteen vowels. In terms of the grammar and speaking it and pronouncing it, it's quite challenging because they've got these plosive sounds, these ter and per and, and then they've got the guttural sounds as well, like the these kinds of things going on all in like a sentence. Because uh, of the syntax and because I made a mistake, I made a mistake of thinking I applied the same method that I normally apply to uh, any language, but in that case Japanese is really a special language. If you have a sentence like I want to go to school in Chinese you say I want to go to school, literally in that order, no, conjug no conjugations, no cases. Of course you need to make sure that you get the tones and the pronunciation right, but a Russian Okay, you say I, then want, you need to conjugate want, to, you also have that in Russian, and then school, oh no, sorry, I want to go to school, right? So then you have to go, you need to know which to go you're going to use. Are you only going once? Uh, are you going and you come back? Are you going by car? And you, like they have very specific word, words. 15 cases, uh, a lot of dialects, um, crazy, crazy grammar, uh, constant gradation, vowel harmony, and so on.